if I wanted more money, I'd be making move bongs, honey. <laughs> you are a disrespectful piece of <laughs> Like, I honestly feel like if I ever got cancer, I would completely change the way I ate. And that's pathetic because I feel like a lot of people wait until they hit that like rock bottom where they feel like there's nothing they could do. And I feel like even for me, even destiny, like we need to change our eating habits like now instead of like when I'm bedridden or destiny gained a billion pounds. Like, you know, I know we both need to lose weight and food cures everything or it makes you have illnesses that's just how it is food is bittersweet but anyways fat girl going vegan it's happening here now and for four days she already is back to eating crap like she was before no i was a vegan for six days actually and the process of being a vegan is so freaking hard and i went vegan overnight a lot of people don't do that honestly i'm here to share the experience um so I'm gonna do a 14 day vegan challenge. And why 14 days? Honestly, because I feel like it's a good goal for me. I was a vegan for a week before, I know it's nothing, but I felt amazing. And I wanna see myself succeed, succeed in something. And I feel like by doing it for 14 days, it'll really show if I feel right doing it. And I know I will. So, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to, like, share this with you guys. And I want to do a grocery haul. A lot I feel better. Like, is that even, like, possible? Like, I feel like I have more energy and I'm more, like, my stomach feels clean. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense. Knowing that I'm helping animals out there, like, it makes the healthy foods taste even better. It's awesome. Tonight at work, they had chicken and sausage gumbo, and that was one of my favorite meals that they would make here. One of my favorites. I probably have, like, five. <laughs> it was hard to see, you know, see it and smell it. Like, I was, like, ew on one spectrum, and then on another, on another spectrum, I was like, oh my god. It kind of looks good, but then when I thought that, I was kind of like, ew, all in the same. This whole vegan thing actually isn't as hard as I thought it would be today. Right now, I obviously washed this after I had my smoothie earlier. Well, actually, Destiny did. She's so sweet. And I'm just chugging on some water, and I feel really good. So, completely unhealthy because I have known a few vegans in my life where they were literally thinking they were super healthy, but they were like eating all this processed vegan stuff and they were eating the Oreos and certain other junk foods that were vegan. Destiny, her mom, her brother, her brother's girlfriend, they all went um, to this like burger joint. It's called like, um, it's called um, cookout, I think. No, that does not sound appealing to me at all. And I think we're gonna stop and get some groceries. I did my grocery shopping last night, so. And that's that's not a healthy, like, lifestyle. I don't know. I know I'm not a healthy person. I don't eat healthy foods. I just am limiting my foods right now. I'm not coming on this video to preach about, like, healthy living and healthy foods and healthy this and healthy that, because I, I feel like you can be healthy eating vegan, vegetarian, or mammals. I mean, you can, it's just, you have to pick the right foods, the right lifestyle for yourself. I know this video is probably all over the place. I just really wanted to get this out because vegans who left comments on my video telling me to go vegan. And I made a whole video called, am I going vegan? In that video, I was extremely foolish. I hadn't done a single drop of research. I had zero knowledge on veganism why people are vegans, what happens in slaughterhouses, 
and what is in animal products. When I made the video, I was stating that I was not going vegan. I probably never would. My freaking answers were ridiculous. I said things like, I love the taste of milk, but little did I know that I am drinking pus and blood every time I drink milk and it's totally legal in the United States. I said things like, I love chicken. Little did I know, I was eating a chicken that was rolling around in its own feces with veggie patty that I am going to cut up with a, you know what? My hands are clean, just washed them. This is a white chili. No, this might be the Indian one, I don't even know. Uh, this is a, either an Indian chili or the white chili veggie patty, vegan. So we got my plate. I like to put the meat, the meat, the fake meat down first. Like this honestly is nothing but vegetables, but it just makes me feel like I have that like meat feeling. And here, this is leftovers from last night. We have rice, spinach, this Asian style sesame vinaigrette. We have sesame seeds in here, sriracha. And I think that's it. So I'm just gonna pile that on top. Rice is really good for you. A lot of people disagree, but that is okay. Like when you feed your body the right foods, you start to feel better. Um, drink water. Why am I giving advice? Like I know I suck, like, but I'm just saying. A complete cookie, Lenny and Larry's. I'm doing the chocolate chip flavor. So how I heard about this first, Destiny, my girlfriend, she's like, oh, I've had those before. Like, cause I tried being a vegan one time, failed completely different story now um <laughs> like let's just not even talk about that it's a little embarrassing i was vegan for a week i felt amazing but anyways just because 68 percent of most cancer cases are from the things that we put into our body you guys probably will not believe this if i say it i didn't even believe it but my question for you guys is do you smoke cigarettes? If your answer is yes, it's probably because you're addicted or you're accustomed to it, whatever. Everyone has their own reasons. But if you say no and I ask you why, there's usually one or two answers, like you don't like the way it smells, you don't like the way it makes your teeth yellow, so and so forth. But one of the biggest answers is because you don't want to die. You don't want to get cancer. Something that I've recently learned is that eating animal product daily is the equivalent of smoking 20 cigarettes a day. I repeat, 20 cigarettes a day. I know a lot of people aren't gonna listen to me, a lot of people aren't gonna believe anything that I'm currently saying right now, but trust me, I'm not making any of this up. The things I have learned in the last week have absolutely changed my mind and changed my opinion on the things that I put in my mouth and I feel myself getting really emotional because I was told a story my whole life. I really was. I was told we needed protein from meat and we needed calcium from milk. I was told to treat my dog and my cat with respect, but eat the hamburger on my plate. All of it made sense because in our culture, that is what makes sense. That is what we are grown to learn but it's not morally right and I, I have learned that finally, it's not. If we were all vegans, disease would be lowered. We would all have more energy. We would have a more fulfilled life. We would be happier and I swear there would be more peace on this world because not only are we hurting animals that we should be loving, but we are hurting ourselves and we should be loving ourselves. I am so amazed with all the research I've done and everything I've learned and I can't preach this and I can't tell you guys to change or think about changing the way that you are in your life if I don't do it myself. I'm going to become a vegan. It's gonna be a challenge because trust me, there are animal products that I like, but it's the taste. And the taste is nowhere near as the pleasure that I can get from saving an animal. I'm saying, um, when you start to feed your body the things that your body is supposed to eat, not things that your body just like craves. Like, you know, I'm craving me some motherfucking chocolate like I've never known. Or like the other day I was at the store and I recently made this like soup stuff and I put ground turkey in my cart. 
I was like, yeah, you know, ground turkey's gonna be amazing in it, like this whole thing. And the whole time I was in the store, I was like, why do I feel so guilty having ground turkey in my buggy? Like, I felt so weird about it. So I ended up putting it back and I got this like meatless crumble. And it's because my body knows what's right and what's wrong now because <laughs> you guys have given me so much information and I appreciate that so much. Stop this video and I'm gonna eat the whole thing because I can and it's vegan. <laughs> Destiny, why are you looking at me? Because they were the same prices right over the years at first. They were. And then they put them on They were. The and made them like a dollar more. I don't know if you guys heard her, but this, this, this vegan ice cream was normal price as regular Ben and Jerry, but then they're like, you know what? Vegan equals expensive, so no. Like, thank you a lot. Again, I'll never be perfect though because, like, I still, you know, eat certain things with that aren't like 100% good for you, you know? And it's hard. It's like, what is good for you? Um, I'll eat fruit and people will be like, that's too much sugar, you know? Or, oh my god, this actually happened. I'm not joking. Um, I ate cucumber. And someone's like, ew, why are you eating cucumber that came from the store? You need to just grow your own garden. And I'm like, the hell? And I know a lot of people are like, white rice isn't good for you. And why did I have a crumb on my shirt? Whoops. White rice isn't good for you and all this stuff. But I just, I disagree. I really do. Um... It's our culture, I feel like. I can't stop eating these, but I'm only gonna have another spoonful and that's it. Um, it's our culture and how we grew up. I feel like all the time is where people don't understand what is good for you versus what isn't. Um, like the best example, I let me put some of this in the in the view because it's so pretty. Eat your greens, girl. Okay. Because it's so pretty. Eat your greens, girl. Okay. Because it's so pretty. Eat your greens, girl. Okay. Um, the best thing I can explain right now is it's how you grow up. Like, how do I explain this? Like, I'm thinking it, but I can't say it out loud. Let me try to figure it out. Hmm. It's so good. Like, a lot of the time, people grow up thinking, hold on, oop, grow up thinking, you know, fat-free Pringles is good for you. You know, for a minute there, you might actually think so. I know I did at one point. Um, mm -mm. You need to question, why are they fat-free now? What else are they adding into that Pringle to cause it, you know, so still taste good, and et cetera, et cetera. And then, I'm still under the impression that, you know, if you are a meat eater, go for a tilapia and go for chicken. Those are lean meats, whatever. Help you lose weight it'll prevent you from you know getting high cholesterol this and that but if you look at the bigger picture why eat chicken a living creature full of hormones like it's just it all just you really have to think about it what you put in your mouth it's weird like i'm putting some peas and some olives like those are from the earth i'm assuming <laughs> um i don't know i don't want to lecture anybody because how you eat is purely up to the individual like, I'm known for eating some bad foods. Let's get real. And bong, whatever you want to call it. But we have some nuggets, some chicken nuggets, some fake chicken nuggets. Let's get real. They and are. I feel like little changes add up. I'm really, oh my God, I'm trying so hard, you guys. I don't think you get it. Like, I don't vlog about this anymore because I'm over the judgment, over it, over it, over it. But I am queen of all or nothing. I will be like, I'm vegan nothing else or i'll be like i'm eating 1200 calories nothing else or i'll be like i'm vegetarian nothing else or i'm eating just vegetables nothing like i'm very all or nothing and that's not that's not mm -mm. a lot of people think go cold turkey of certain things but i'm the i'm i'm honestly proof that if you just slowly start eating better don't do it like molasses do a little quicker than that but if you slowly start eating better like every day just make a conscious a conscious a conscious choice on a healthier option and 
it really starts to just become a habit instead of they are morning star buffalo wings veggie nuggets i love these i've been eating these for i feel like it's been like nine years they're so good i'm obsessed i did log all of this into weight watchers as you guys know i'm doing weight watchers um it's just such a freedom to eat what you want and really choose what you feel like you want to spend your points on. Um, so I know this isn't like a weight loss video, but I do want to say <laughs> normally I would eat this many, all of these, but I would have a whole thing of Pringles, like a whole container of Pringles. And I would have a ton of ranch. This, oh my God, so good in ranch. I recommend it but it's just not worth it for me and the points. And afterwards, I would have a ton of candy. Okay. Hey, <laughs> um, this fell. We are going to add more spinach, just organic raw baby spinach. If I need more, I'll get more. Um, I also have green olives, obsessed. I'm just gonna put those on the side, over yonder. I love green olives, they're so good. I wanna explain, if you're new to my channel, just sit back, listen, I'll try to make it as fast as possible. Recently I tried being a vegan, I lasted about a week, and I felt so amazing. Like, honestly, I've never felt like so good in my life. I felt energized, light on my feet. I wasn't sluggish. My mind was sharper. It was honestly crazy. It was like I was taking like some magical drug, but really it was just, I was eating the right food for my body. But then I started noticing there was a lot of like negative things towards vegans in the sense of a lot of vegans, if you're a vegan, don't act like I'm like saying this to you or anything like that. But there are a big chunk of vegans who like to throw it down your throat and talk to meat eaters like they're bad people. I recently was told that I was a bad person and that I was not a good person because I started eating meat again. And I was like, what? I just don't think vegans should have such a negative outlook on meat eaters. I don't want to be that person. I don't want vegans to have a bad rep. I don't want myself to have a bad rep. I just want people to do what is best for them. I understand killing animals and drinking another species milk is not really right but it is in the norm it's sad it's so sad but it's true and we cannot take that away this is our culture if someone chooses to eat meat that's on them if someone chooses not to that's on them as well so i was very just like whoa i was becoming a vegan i thought it was a good thing and then i had a lot of people like almost attacking me saying i was part of that vegan group that was shoving it down people's throats and i did not want that to be me at all i found myself like my girlfriend wanted to take me somewhere for valentine's day and we could not find anywhere to eat that has vegan options like if you live in LA or New York or something like that, like you probably have all kinds of vegan restaurants or vegetarian restaurants there, but here there's literally nothing. I sat on my phone and searched and searched and searched for probably over an hour and there was nothing. It was really ridiculous. And at the time I thought it was really pathetic that I was gonna have to go to a restaurant on Valentine's day and order a salad purely with just lettuce. Honestly, a lot of vegans have messaged me, private messaged me, commented and said, this is a process and how they were vegetarian for like 13 years. Some were like vegetarian for six years. Some were a vegetarian their whole life since they were born and then they switched to veganism and they're like, this is a process and you will make so many mistakes. You might even go weeks with eating meat and then try being a vegan again. And something about being a vegan is it's really just about limiting the harm done to animals. It's not about being perfect. Vegans are not perfect. And I'm getting just a tremendous amount of like people saying, well, you take medicine, so you're not a true vegan. Like, I'm sorry, but if I'm on my deathbed, yes, I will take medicine. It's not about being perfect, About it's about trying to spread awareness about the harm that is done to animals. I don't really know what else to tell you guys about that. Currently right now, I am eating meat today probably. I haven't eaten a single ounce of anything. I'll probably eat a little bit of meat today. It's been extremely hard. Being a vegan, oh my God, makes you feel incredible. Like. It's almost like it's its own medicine in itself. It's really crazy. I felt so good. And then mornings ago, I woke up crying for some reason, just, I don't know what it was. I, I did have a really bad dream and I woke up crying. I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know if I could do this, blah, blah. And I happened to eat cheese that day. So 
it's gonna be a process. I'm done calling myself a vegan because it's not, it's not fair, I guess. But trust me, I still eat not as much meat, not as much uh, animal product, and I will continue spreading awareness for everyone out there. I don't think it's fair to tell me that I'm eating the same crap because you don't see what I'm eating. I don't, like really, I show you just bits and pieces. I'm still trying to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, rice and beans. I don't want anyone to be like, haha, she failed, blah, blah, blah. It's not about failing. I am trying so hard to figure out what's best for me. I really do just wanna eat less meat. <laughs> Whether that's like a vegetarian thing, I don't know. I'm really tired of the labels. I understand that I announced that I was a vegan a couple weeks ago, but I need you guys to know that this is a freaking long process and there's nothing more I can really say about that. So I just come there in a friendly manner. When I was a vegetarian, I only succeeded of 10 days. That's okay though. Of being a vegan, I'm honestly super nervous and I feel like it's like stressing me out a bit. Like I've been in a bad mood all night on top of some other things. I'm really excited to help the animals and to help my health and to spread awareness of something that's really important. But that doesn't take away the fact that I'm super nervous and I fail at everything. So let's and you'll lose weight, you'll lose weight, you can eat as much as you want. I'm being a vegan, you can eat as many potatoes as you want and how many peas you want and just everything. And like people are like, French fries are vegan and Oreos are vegan and ugh, a lot of you really, really believe that going vegan will cause me to lose weight no matter how much I eat. For myself, I really enjoy certain meats. It really depends. Chicken is one of my favorites if it's like cooked the right way. Um, I really like my meat like thoroughly, thoroughly cooked and I enjoy cheese and I love milk. I know that's like weird. <laughs> A lot of people are like, milk is made for cows and only for cows. I mean, you could see it as you will, of course, but I like milk and I like cereal and I like putting milk inside a cereal and I like drinking milk and just milk is delicious. <laughs> I'm not going to become vegan. I appreciate your guys's like opinions and your guys's like you can do it you can be a vegan i appreciate all that no i can't do it i really would fail completely um i'm about to watch forks over knives a lot of people are telling me to watch this and i've been really 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 like possibly obsessed with these like vegan documentaries lately or vegetarian documentaries just documentaries about food in general and how it's really bad to eat meat like this is so intriguing to me like i love these documentaries so far i've seen um veducate i think it was called which was last night and i watched food inc today like right now i'm gonna watch forks over knives and then if i have time or if i'm feeling like it i'm gonna watch cowspiracy so if you guys have any other documentaries you want me to watch leave them in the comments below because I probably will watch them. So, I am just getting ready for work, but I totally forgot to end the vlog last night. And I want, I want to tell you guys what I thought about the documentary I watched last night, which was Forks Over Knives. And I just want to tell you, I recommend this one to anybody out there who eats meat, who doesn't eat meat. Because this one has been my favorite that I've watched because it really showed the, the bad aspects of meat. Like... Meat causes cancer, cheese causes cancer, anything from animals, animal protein causes cancer. And it was uh, mind boggling. Like I literally was sitting there watching it like, wow. I, I can't sit here and explain it to you guys. You guys are gonna have to watch it. Like it was incredible. And every single person who went on a vegan diet, a plant-based diet, completely lost their diseases like people with diabetes people with cancer declined radiation and chose the vegan diet instead and their cancer went away it it was freaking amazing and if anyone out there knows me you know that I don't like medication you know that I'm a worry wart and I feel like I have every disease in the world but I don't <laughs> hashtag hypochondriac I would rather be a vegan than have to take any medicine ever 
just hearing the things in this documentary about cancers and the protein from animals is horrible for you and you get high cholesterol from it and you get colon cancer and prostate cancer and breast cancer just everything like I don't know I need you guys to watch this it was the most amazing thing I've ever watched and I my thoughts about veganism have changed so much lately example last night um destiny was out and she was picking something up for dinner at walmart that we can make here and i used to get this uh general so's chicken that is so good you cook it in the oven and stuff and i texted her and i was like yeah i want the general so's chicken and then as soon as i sent it like made my stomach hurt and i was like you know I don't so instead I had her get me a veggie patty so I had veggie patty and some white rice like oh, that show has changed me I feel like but I have a lot of meat product in our fridge so I don't want to waste any of it but my point is that veganism is amazing and I literally could cry just thinking about it right now I walnut yet but I'm pretty sure they taste like normal walnuts um It almost tastes identical to the other one. Just this does have just the tiniest bit more banana taste. That is literally the only difference. I can't stop eating it. Honestly, vegan food can be delicious. Like, there's junk food for everybody. That's honestly the truth. And... I can't stop eating it. Um, I'm trying to wipe off the little ice. The ingredients are is almond milk, water, almonds, liquid sugar, coconut oil, sugar, walnuts, bananas, corn syrup solids, dried cane syrup, cocoa, pea protein, sunflower less less it thin I can't pronounce things worth the damn lemon juice concentrate soy less it thin <laughs> vanilla extract being a bit uh I was about to say a vegetarian because I just said that anyways it's pretty easy being a vegan if you like things to the sort I feel like when I get in my fruits it's just a lot easier to do it in smoothie form and um yeah I'm like super excited so I will let you guys know how that goes. I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow because last time I was a vegan, I did not weigh myself. I had no idea like if I lost weight or not. I'm not just doing this to lose weight, even though that'll be a plus because <laughs> I need to lose that weight, girl. Okay, um, I don't know why I keep saying girl because a guy could be watching this, so hey. Um, <laughs> um. Mm. So you're going vegan and I'm like no girl no I'll never be a vegan um vegan is not just about food it's about a lifestyle leather certain medicines most medicines um there are so many things tampons <laughs> every single tampon brand I'm letting you guys know is tested on animals um and there's like a whole science behind it please google it because I just skim the article one day so don't take my word for it but every single tampon has is not vegan like I'm just letting you guys know that so it's like how am I ever gonna become a vegan not gonna happen but can I make better choices and changes yes you guys just saw me eat eggs and I had a chicken flavored freaking ramen like I'm never gonna be perfect I am trying my oh, I wouldn't say my hardest no I'm making little changes into just eating you know more wholesome plant-based foods that's why I have a whole bucket full of just all plant-based but it's like I'm not gonna be like that 24 7 and I need to start slow I am talking to somebody about this so thank God um, they're they're helping me major 
will I ever be full plant-based? I don't know. As of right now, no. Sorry, in the future, possibly. You know, if this is your first video of mine, enjoy what I ate today and kind of just probably me talking about how it's going so far and maybe like my struggles within the day. Keep in mind, I have failed at every single challenge I've ever brought upon myself. And being a vegan is gonna be a challenge, but it's not gonna be a game challenge because this, this is about lives out there, animal lives and human lives because we shouldn't be eating animal product we shouldn't it's gonna be a challenge because of course there are animal products that i love they are everywhere in this in this culture not only that but lately for years actually i have not eaten healthy at all and with a plant-based vegan diet it's really healthy i have done my research and what i need to eat and there are a bunch of different types of vegans i'm just a normal one <laughs> like I know there's like raw to four I ain't doing that and there's just a lot of different things but I have done my research and I know not to eat too little and um, what you guys are probably gonna notice is that I will be having a lot of fruit in my life and I know a lot of you might look at it as that's just sugar but sugar from the earth the natural sugars from fruits do process differently than if I was gonna eat like a donut or something. So I kind of just wanted to clarify that. Like too. five hours from now, I packed something for work because at work they do not cook vegan food. They don't even cook vegetarian food. Like I will be bringing my food to work every day, but I'll show you guys that when it's my lunch time, which is probably around like 6 p.m. So, whew, I can do this. Two little like clementine type deals. I'm having an apple and here I have some almonds And here I have some hummus. This is like super tiny. It looks really big on camera I'm not sure why and then in here I Have some carrots that I cut last night. I'm gonna dip them in my hummus if made real rice I've always been that whole five minute rice type of gal like the rice that are in those boxes <laughs> take like literally five minutes but this took 20 and it's worth it and I made it yay over here I got some black beans and some green beans cooking and I'm more than likely gonna use some tapatio for some flavor and some spice and everything nice so on my green beans I put a little bit of salt pepper and Italian seasoning and on here, I just put the tapatio. Oh, this looks so good. I'm in the middle of eating, and I swear to God, I could eat this every single day. The whole bean and rice bit. I was looking at Destiny. Because I'm sure a lot of you are going to have this question. Is Destiny going vegan too? And the answer is no. And a lot of you are always judging me because of Destiny's weight. She was like this before I ever even like met her or knew her or anything. She chooses what she eats. Like today at work, I was eating like fruits and vegetables and she's over there eating a freaking cheeseburger and gumbo. Like what I eat has nothing to do with her. So I, I don't know, just kind of wanted to clarify, but this right here is amazing. I love being vegan. I was craving something sweet, so I'm gonna eat a crunchy peanut butter cliff bar and I'm about to watch The 600 Pound Life because it's my favorite show. Why am I talking? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm about to watch my 600 Pound Life and it's literally my favorite show ever. I just realized I still had my hair net on from work. I haven't needed to wear this for like easily seven hours. I'm not sure why that was still on my head. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I don't even notice it's on half of the time. I'm just about to share a bowl of cucumbers with my baby. Baby. Ah. Here. Which was divine. It's refreshing. Um. I'm putting the rice that falls on my shirt on a plate. <laughs> a lot of people say, you know, get your protein in the morning, blah, blah, blah. But 
I feel so much better eating fruit in the morning. Like, holy crap. It just makes you feel light, mm. more crisp, more energized. I don't know. It's definitely crazy. This is a chickpea Mediterranean veggie patty. Mm. It's one of my all time favorites. I figured it would go really good with this. Mm -hmm. I was right. <laughs> But this is what I had for dinner last night. Um, the salad. I didn't have any of this, though. I just had the salad part. No olives. And everyone else had Salisbury steak, cheese and peas, and uh, fried potatoes with bacon. I was like, no, thank you. mine and that is all that matters got a thing of carrots i'll be we all love ourselves some carrots i guess i'll just put everything on the floor huh um i prefer cuties but they didn't have any so i got a thing of halos um i got some bow tie pasta this is a mess i got some roasted red pepper hummus obsessed with hummus especially roasted red pepper bag of potatoes um, all my stuff is like packed up, including my um, magic bullet. So when I want to make smoothies in the morning, how am I going to do that? So I had to buy a um, blender type deal. So I just got the Hamilton Beach one. Nothing special. Special, but it'll do the job. You know what I'm saying? And I'm obsessed with cups to this sort. So slurp on some water. And yeah, this holds 48 ounces. So like if I drink like two of these a day, that'll be awesome. Or three. Keep yourself hydrated. Go hydrated. You got to keep yourself hydrated. So got some whole strawberries that are frozen and i got some frozen um what do you call it? it's a mixed fruit with pineapple sliced strawberries peach and mango so that's gonna be good okay so that's my girlfriends don't want no part in that cheerios strawberry cheerios so that's my girlfriends i got myself some panties i don't think you guys need to see those little suckers real raw coming at you girlfriends yet again how you doing twix oh brownies yeah her way of eating is quite different than mine but I don't really care. She got some TV dinners as well. Honestly, she don't eat much throughout the day, so she also got some bread. I don't need to take that out. Okay. There we go. Back to my stuff. I got two things of bananas. I'm not going to take out both, but the other ones are here. Um, what else? I know there's more. There's definitely more. I got um, some organic vegetable broth. You can do freaking wonders with that shit. Just saying. I got some, I think I got two or three cans of the reduced black beans. That is one of my go-tos for like protein. Oh my gosh. I love black beans to death like yes um i got some bell pepper i got some cucumbers i really have been liking bell pepper just by itself you don't need no ranch girl um sweet corn sweet peas i have a lot of beans and vegetables already so i need a lot i also got this protein blend california style so good i've had this before obsessed it's a blend of whole grains lentils peas broccoli and chilled edamame with a light garlic sauce like did the heavens come to me or what super excited for that and I just got one bag of the Morning Star Farms and the roasted garlic quinoa. Gotta be honest. I'm a little sad because most of the Morning Star Farms, like patties, like the Mediterranean one, the buffalo chicken one, like those are my two favorites. And they're just vegetarian because they do contain milk and eggs. This is one of the only ones that doesn't. So I'm like, whatever, girl. Gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta do it. And that is it. So that is all I got for this haul. And 
who smoke about two packs a day, I feel like the healthy way, especially so you don't go freaking psycho, smoke like a pack for a week and then smoke a half a pack for like four days and then start to only smoke like 10 and then go back, go down to like only seven a day, seven cigarettes, not seven packs. And then only do like five a day. And after about two months, you'll be completely like, wow, this is actually easier than I thought. Cold Turkey for me has been the devil. Like just saying, I can't do it. Um, what was it? Two weeks ago, I felt like crap. And I was like, I'm gonna start eating healthier. I'm gonna, um, you know, this and that. And normally I'm a cold turkey son of a gun, but I slowly did it. And now like, I just feel so much better. And it's kind of like a habit to me to say no to going to a freaking burger joint, you know? I got my own burgers. <laughs> and I don't have cow. Anyway. Whatever. This video is so long. This is good. But vegan, but I want to make vegan choices when it comes to food in my mouth. Meaning, I'm still probably gonna be wearing, you know, CoverGirl mascara. I purely am just changing the way I'm eating, and if I happen to eat an animal product like two weeks down the line, then so what? I hope that like makes sense. I don't even know if that made sense. Like it makes sense in my head, but I'm just doing what's best for me, and I think you should do what's best for you. And people should stop being so negative all the time. Like, God, you know how much beautiful life is if you just stop being negative and started being more positive. I don't know why I had that accent, but today we're gonna do veggie burgers, if you will. I have two of them. I have like an Indian style one, and then I have a white chili one. I don't know, I've never had these before, so I guess we'll see. We have peas, some green olives, and orange for dessert. I don't know. Mm. I love carrots. So, today we have raw carrots, which I love raw, cooked, it doesn't even matter. Is it blurry for you guys? I'll try to sit a little bit closer so it's not. It really wants to zoom in on my face, which I also want it to zoom in on the food. Mm. Here we have there's whole grains, peas, edamame, lentils, broccoli. I think I named everything. Mm. With a garlic sauce. Mmm! Yes! Okay, you guys. Filming a video here. So, yes, this whole meal is a vegan meal. Vegaroni. It actually tastes really good with this. So. Different reasons. I'm the type of person who will try something over and over again, completely fail, and it's mainly because I try it because I'm not determined to do it. If I tried to be a vegan, it wouldn't be because of me, it'd be because you guys are urging me to do so, and it's just not in my cards. I, I, <sighs> just don't want to be a vegan really one of the big things for me is like I'm a big worry wart and I feel like if I'm not getting the right nutrition that I will have to turn to supplements if I was a vegan and I'm not into taking any sort of pills I don't like taking anything even just Tylenol I know it's like all in my head but it's a lot because of my past and I don't need to get into that right now but 
I don't want to take supplements and meat has a lot of, you know, nutrient that you do need. And it's honestly the truth. Like, ugh, I do love animals and I feel bad that I'm eating animals. A big thing for me is the fact that you guys think that I will be able to lose weight eating tons and tons of potatoes is silly to me because I won't. I have binge eating disorder and that means that I could easily binge on like mashed potatoes or like fried potatoes. However I make those potatoes, I could easily sit there and eat like hella of it and then turn around and eat a lot more of something aka Oreos because those are vegan. Um, becoming a vegan for me, I wouldn't do it for weight loss reasons I'd, if I ever did do it, which I probably won't, it would be purely because I want to better the environment. I'm currently doing Weight Watchers and it's working really well. Like my first week I was down 13.4 pounds. Like what? I'm sorry.